Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to today's Partner Web Conference. This is Fast Track for Dynamics 365 for operation, Finance and Operations Tech Talk. Today's topic, Italy VAT Management Regulatory Update. My name is Janice and I'm going to be your moderator today. We are broadcasting this web conference through Teams Live Events and the audio can be heard through your PC speakers. Today's web conference is being recorded on behalf of Microsoft Corporation. Participation in the meeting today indicates your consent to being included in the meeting recording. Attendees may access the web conference recording by the same registration link that was used to attend today's live broadcast. If you have questions for the presenters or need support, you can turn on the Q&A panel by selecting the question mark icon located in the upper right hand corner of your screen. We do have presenters standing by to answer your questions throughout the session. Now on to the presentation. Presenting for us today from the Dynamics Globalization team, we have product managers Adam Trukaka and Elizaveta Golub. So without any further delay, Adam, the floor is all yours. Hello everyone. Welcome to our Tech Talk session dedicated to VAT management in Italy. In today's session, we'll talk about new options for VAT reporting related to latest changes in Italian law. Uh, my name is Adam Trukavka and today, together with me today is joining Elisabetta Golub. So let's get started and move to the next slide. Please take a moment to read through our disclaimer for this presentation. Specifically, please note we will be making forward looking statements about product or services not yet released to the market. Everything you will see or hear in this presentation is a subject to later change without a notice. Thank you. So, as Janice mentioned in the introduction, Elisabetta and I work in Dynamic Globalization Department of Microsoft. Basically, our team delivers functional localization or country specific functionality for Dynamics. Uh, we also manage localization solutions published by our partners, partners of Microsoft. And you may find those uh, localization solutions on our website, Microsoft App Source. And those solutions are extensions to our localizations uh, functionality, which, which uh, our partners built on top of what we release in the standard product. Uh, apart from the explicit country specific functionality, our team develops globalization tools and services. Many of you probably use on daily basis our configurable frameworks. And for instance, when I'm talking about configurable frameworks, I mean electronic reporting module widely used in payments and regulatory reports and electronic messaging used in reporting to government or services integration, which is commonly used in, in late recent days uh, in VAT reporting in many countries across Europe and not only in Europe. Uh, those globalization frameworks uh, have capabilities which uh, uh, specific, make them specific uh, to that extent that they don't need any coding skills from, from the users and can be configured either by implementation partners or power users in, in the company. And now I will hand over to Elisaveta. She will lead us through latest changes we are planning to release in the product. Elisaveta. Thank you, Adam, for the introduction. Hello, everybody, once again. Um, thank you very much for joining our webinar, which we prepare for our partners and customers in Italy. Now we are getting started with the main part of our presentation for today, which is dedicated to the implementation of the requirements related to the changes in the VAT management in Italy. These changes are introduced by the Law Decree 119 on 23rd of October 2018. The presentation is composed of three parts and the first part is about the changes in the legislation, which are the subject of the update in the system. In the second part, I will tell you what changes are introduced in the system in both finance and operations and in Dynamics AX 2012-R3. And at the end, if some time we left, we will answer some of your questions online. Um, you may address your questions uh, during the meeting in the chart of the meeting 
all the questions uh, will be answered offline, even if uh, we will have some time to answer during the session. Uh, most common questions uh, will be added to the deck, which will be published as a PDF file afterwards. So you may address your questions um, in English or probably even if it, in Italian um, for offline answering if uh, it will be more comfortable for you. And um, we will try to translate the questions into English to answer, but all the answers will be done in English just to avoid any potential confusion with the author translation. Okay, uh, well, let's get started with the overview of the legislation change first. Um, <clears throat> on 23rd of October last year in Italy, the Law Decree 119 introduced a change in value added tax management in Italy that takes effect on July 1st this year. The change is also called in some sources as um, an invoice in simplification. Article 14 of the decree modified the time limit of uh, input VAT recovery, enabling VAT payers to recover the input VAT in the VAT settlement for the month when the tax point is triggered, even if the purchase invoice is received and recorded in the input VAT ledger before the 15th of the following month. Thus, for example, an invoice dated on 20th of April, but received on the 2nd of May, could be booked in the purchase VAT ledger within the 15th of May by including the related input VAT in the VAT settlement of April. This rule does not apply to transactions whose tax point arises in a fiscal year different from that in which the purchase invoice is received. Thus, an invoice dated on 20th of December but received on 2nd of J January cannot be uh, recovered with um, reference to the VAT settlement of December. A uh, mentioned rule is applicable for purchase invoices and it is not mandatory. Thus, the taxpayers can keep recovering the input VAT in the month in which the invoice is received. The Article 12 of the same decree provides a different simplification, which is instead related to the sales transactions. In particular, Article 12 of the decree modified the time limit for recording sales invoices in the output VAT ledger. According to the new rule, a sales invoice could be recorded in the output VAT ledger at the latest by the 15th of the month following that in which the transaction takes place, but always including the output VAT um, in the VAT settlement of the month when the tax point was triggered. Thus, a sales invoice issued on 20th of April can be booked within the 15th of May by including the related output VAT in the VAT settlement of April. In case when invoice is not issued at the tax point, it should include, uh, in addition to the invoice date, a reference to the tax point date. Um, in regards to booking of the invoices, it is mentioned also that invoices that are booked before the 15th, uh, 15th day of uh, the next month, but that have a reference to the previous VAT settlement, should not interrupt the sequential numbering. Invoices with VAT point date in the previous month, but um, invoice date in the current month should be booked in a chronological sequence with the invoice uh, with the invoices um, in the current month with the reference to the fact that these invoices are related to the previous VAT settlement. At the same time, the companies that issue uh, the sales invoices on the same day without applying the change um, that is introduced by the law decree 119 will remain compliant and uh, may not apply any changes neither in the processes nor in the system. Um, well, 
our presentation today is more for companies which intend to apply this so-called invoice and simplification. And um, in the next part, I will tell you about what changes are introduced uh, in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations to accommodate uh, these requirements. And first of all, the update introduces a new date type field, which is called date of VAT register. This will allow user to specify additionally to document date and transaction date, a specific date when VAT point had place. This date will appear in all the documents where VAT transactions can be created and posted through the system. And first of all, these are sales and purchase invoices, free text invoices and journals. The user will also be able to set up some author fill and rules so that the date of VAT register would be um, defined automatically and user will not need to specify this date each time manually. If for some reason a VAT transaction was posted with empty date of VAT register, it will also be possible to specify its value even after posting of the tax transaction. To activate uh, this uh, new field through the system, specific feature, feature management was introduced and must be activated. And I will show you how to do that during our demo in the system. Um, next, uh, the update uh, includes a new date of VAT register parameter in general ledger. This parameter serves as a switch between the two regimes of VAT manage management. By default, this parameter is not marked. This means that VAT settlement and reporting will be working as in the past before the invoice and simplification. And even filling in a date of VAT register for the tax transactions will not be considered by the system differently before the date of VAT register parameter in general ledger is marked. Thus, when the company decides to work by date of VAT register for the VAT reporting purposes, then the date of VAT register parameter in general ledger must be marked. The third part of the update is dedicated to the changes introduced respectively to the Italian sales tax payment report. When date of VAT register parameter in general ledger is marked, this report will work um, in a new way. It will be the same SSRS report, but um, in this scenario it is significantly extended. First of all, the invoices listing part will include a new column to report date of VAT register. I have to mention that the list of invoices will not be changed. All the invoices will be reported still by date of posting, and this is how the invoices are registered in the related books. And the report must show the sequential mm, numbering during the registration as well. But as soon as the VAT amount in uh, this scenario must be reported by date of VAT register. Report will include this date and the totals, uh, total VAT amounts uh, will be calculated by this date. Uh, thus, um, in section, at the, uh, each, each sales tax book section at the end will include three groups of totals instead of one as it was in the past. First group will report VAT amounts by transactions in the period which tax point is in the current period. Second group will show the VAT amounts by transactions in the period with, with tax point in the previous period. Yes, uh, and the third group will uh, show the VAT amounts by transactions in the next period uh, with the tax point in the current period. And uh, the same grouping is uh, introduced in totals by books as well. And um, summary part of the report will also 
look like um, look uh, will look more complex for this scenario as for each mentioned group of transactions the et amounts will also be shown in the separate pages to provide more clarity and make the report more readable the last page of the report which is about sales tax payment is not changed in terms of uh, introducing of new fields or changes in the design it will look completely the same as it is now but VAT amounts will be calculated by date of VAT register instead of transaction date well the full list of changes in the, the report can be found in the documentation links uh, on the documentation are provided in this deck and you will easily find them afterwards and um, the fourth part of the update includes also some italian reports which are impacted by the change in vat management for purchase and sales invoices communication there will not be needed any update except of uh, setup of the feature quarterly and yearly vat communication for these reports we will release a new version of uh, electronic reporting configurations and um, a slight uh, change in electronic invoicing was uh, already delivered for this version okay now we are going to the demo of the changes introduced by the update in finance and operations and first of all i have to mention the version of finance and operations for which this update is released it is a 10.06 version and in case a company decides to apply the new VAT invoice and simplification rules then the version of the environment of such company must be of version 10.06 or later for version 10.06 built number should be as it is uh, shown here on the slide uh, 10 0 uh, two, three, four, point 21 or later I will explain a little bit later why uh, this build um, should be under control well during the demo we will know how to activate the date of VAT register feature in the feature management workspace and um, run consistency check for update the existing transactions in the database after that we will find where to set up the author filling rules then we will post a couple of invoices and then we will know how to define the date of VAT register for those transactions for which this, this date of VAT register is not filled in when we are done with uh, the transactions we will switch to the system mm, I mean I we will switch uh, system to the new VAT management regime and uh, generate sales tax payment report to see how it will look like for date of VAT register regime after all we will run sales tax payment or sales tax settlement process if we will have time for this and validate the VAT amount calculated by date of VAT register now I will switch to my virtual machine hope it will work fast enough to go through all the scenarios which are planned for this demo okay here we are in the system this is version 1006 so finance and operations and uh, this is our standard demo data we will work in uh, uh, FRSI company primary address for which is changed to Italian so that we could use the Italian functionality and uh, first of all I will quickly go through the setup which I prepared here so that we could be all on, on the same page so I have one uh, settlement uh, sales tax settlement period here and for this settlement period I have created three intervals in this year and uh, for August I have posted several invoices and then I um, closed that period as if 
um, just to simulate a scenario similar to the one that each company will have when it decides to switch to the VAT management regime based on date of VAT register. So it is recommended to close first the period in which you were not using the date of VAT register before you start using it. Uh, I have also tax authority and uh, for this tax authority I have defined uh, reporting layout, it, Italian reporting layout, just um, to be able to generate a sales tax payment report uh, specific for Italy. What else? I have created sales tax group specifically for this demo which is called uh, normal and we will uh, work mainly with this um, group uh, which contains uh, three sales tax codes 22 percent 10 percent and five percent okay this will be quite simple example illustrating the main sense of the feature so for this purpose this uh, sales tax setup should be enough ah, one more thing uh, just to show that I have created also just uh, two simple sections for sales tax book, one for Acquisti Ita and uh, another one for Venditium Italia. So respectively to uh, to reflect uh, purchases and sales transac transactions in those sections. OK, well, first of all, when a company Mm, decides to start using date of VAT register to re reflect additionally tax point date. The first thing to be done is to activate date of VAT register feature. And for this purpose, we go specifically to workspaces and we find feature management workspace. This is more or less new workspace here in this system. And uh, we switch to all tab of uh, this page and we search for date of VAT register feature. It is called uh, just as the field and as the parameter to uh, make it easily to be found. On the right side, uh, we can see a short description of this feature, which may uh, provide some um, high level knowledge about what is this created form. And as you can see, it is already activated here on my demo system. And uh, the date of activation is also reflected here in this line. If uh, for some reason user will need to learn more about this feature, uh, this learn more link should be used. This will drive the user to the Docs Microsoft Com portal where on the globalization globalization part for Europe on the uh, value added tax uh, a new page has appeared which is called tax point date uh, or date of AT register which is specifically dedicated to this new feature it is explained here how you may switch it on and how you may use it okay go back to our system so to switch on this feature you need to simply click on the enable button on this page and the feature will be available immediately you will probably just need to refresh your browser window to make um, it working okay um, what else it is important to know that uh, date of AT register field, which is activated by this feature, is shared globally, meaning that there is no country specific context on it. And when you activate the feature, the field becomes available in all the legal entities with primary address in any country through the system. This basically does not mean that from this moment of activating of this uh, feature in, in uh, feature management, um, VAT management will be <clears throat> done immediately by this date. No, this is just about activating of the field itself, which has no impact of uh, no impact on uh, VAT settlement or calculation tax. When date of VAT register feature is enabled in feature management workspace, you will be able just to define additionally for sales tax transactions date of um, 
tax point by using the date of VAT register field in all the legal entities through the system. If uh, in some legal entities this field is not needed, it can be just hidden from the user interface of the particular user. Okay, date of VAT register will appear in uh, more than 20 pages. When you post the document, all taxes are posted by using the corresponding date of VAT register. And this date will also appear on some uh, common uh, sales tax reports like specification, sales tax transaction, or transactions, sorry, and uh, some others. Okay, when we have activated the feature, the next uh, step after that should be run consistency check. It should be done via modules, system administration, and here uh, we have uh, a common, uh, I would call it workspace for consistency check. Uh, in scope of this feature, we introduced a new consistency check here on the general ledger sales tax, and we called it sales tax transaction extension. Why it is uh, important to do? The matter is that uh, the date of AT register field is physically stored in tax trans W table, which is a kind of extension of uh, standard tax trans table. And when a company switches to uh, date of AT register um, regime by using the date of AT register parameter in general ledger, I will show it uh, the next step. Um, this uh, will um, he allow to 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 use the v, uh, to how to say to use the VAT register date instead of transaction date uh, uh, during the VAT settlement. And um, data sources queries on some pages in the system uh, will start working differently after this parameter on general ledger, general ledger will be activated. It will join the tax trans W table. And as a result, tax transactions posted in the past period uh, will not be seen in the user interface. It is just because there are no corresponding transactions in the new tax trans W table because it was not in use in the past. So, to avoid this issue, we recommend to run uh, this uh, sales tax transaction extension consistency check. And uh, it can be run either for checking. We, for example, we want to check how many transactions uh, need to be um, inserted into the new table. We may simply run this procedure for check and the system informs us that there are eight records missing. This is related just to my um, environment, to my data, uh, demo data, that there are only eight rec records missing in, date, in tax trans W table. So when you run uh, this uh, consistency check for fixed errors, these eight missing records should be added. Okay, system informs us about that eight records were inserted to tax trans W table. This means that now my data in the database is consistent and I may go further. Please note that this sales tax transactions extension consistency check is available only when date of VAT register feature is enabled in feature management workspace. So if you will try to run this uh, consistency check before enabling the feature in feature management, it will return with error. And once again, please pay attention <laughs> And then this consistency check is available starting from build number 10.0.234.21 or starting from any build for 10.0.7 version. 
Okay, next, uh, when you have activated date of it, you register feature um, and have recovered the old tax transactions, you may proceed with defining of author filling rules, which you will use in your, in your system. For this purpose, you need to go to sales tax groups and uh, we will work with uh, the group called normal and as you can see as soon as the feature management is uh, switched on uh, a new parameter here has appeared and um, there are four uh, options in it if you select manually no value will be defined for date of AT register field and um, user can manually define the value um, before invoice posting. This is the value which is used by default for each group. This means that as soon as you switch on the feature in the feature management, all your sales tax groups will uh, have the value manually um, before the, that. <clears throat> if you select for some group a document date, a value of uh, date of VAT register field will be defined automatically on document date change in the document. If you select the posting date, a uh, value of uh, date of VAT register field will be defined automatically on posting date change. And uh, the last value which was added here um, uh, will uh, allow you, uh, will not alone, will define automatically as date of AT register, the date of last pack and sleep for the purchase order case, or for the sales order case, sorry, and uh, the last uh, product receipt date uh, for purchase order. Um, I think we shall start with uh, trying with posting date. So we have defined for our normal group the posting date parameter and now um, so we are working in September so uh, now we will create and post a very simple uh, vendor invoice first of all it is here for this purpose I have uh, defined a journal uh, which is associated with the section with that one section of sales tax book about purchase invoices and uh, I have also created in advance a vendor which is domestic vendor with address in uh, Italy so we will use uh, that uh, vendor here and uh, we will specify the invoice as today. For example, like this, for 1000, I will select more or less any account as I have uh, predefined for my vendor a uh, normal sales tax group it is already used for the for this vendor and I select uh, the full uh, the full item sales tax group because this is the group which is which already includes 22 percent of tax here on invoice tab we can see a new field appeared it is called date of VAT register and value of this field now is equal to the date of posting which we are going to uh, define for this uh, transaction if we change this field to another value uh, date of VAT register will be changed respectively so user will not need to control that field each time manually. Uh, so now we are going to try the scenario when the date of AT register is equal to the date of posting and this is a case of normal invoice. I will post it uh, 
and uh, I expect that one sales tax transaction will be created and uh, it will be for the <coughs> tax code 22 percent which is associated with uh, IT uh, sales tax book section. As you have uh, noticed it, I did not activate for now the general ledger parameter, so I have just activated the new field. So a new sales tax transaction was posted in relation to this invoice and it is likely associated, sorry, it is associated with AIT sales tax book section. And uh, for customers site, we will also post one normal invoice by using all free text invoices. I will create a new invoice. I have also predefined a domestic customer with address in Italy and just the fake exempt tax exempt number is used for it and this customer is also associated with that normal sales, sales tax group for which we have defined the date of it register um, uh, related to the posting date as you can see it was um, defined automatically I will select main account and uh, I will define item sales tax group as full as well and put some price here. So uh, my transaction, my invoice is ready to be posted and uh, as we can see this is the case. This is the case when the date of AT register is uh, the same as the posting date. After it uh, will be posted, we will quickly check the sales tax and then we will update the value of our sales tax group uh, not the value, but the value of the of author filling rule for the sales tax group. Um, because for the next scenario, I think we will check uh, how the latest delivery date will work. So as we can see, a new sales tax transaction was posted and on posting tab, we can control that it was associated with the sales tax section, sales tax book section. How to switch to another. Okay, okay. now I will open uh, the setup of uh, the sales tax group and update the value for the group with name normal to last delivery date and now we will simulate the scenario when we have uh, uh, posted several um, uh, for purchase order product receipts and uh, then we will post um, an invoice in October so we will stay uh, in um, September and we will go to purchase orders and I have created a purchase order there which has already a product receipts posted. Two of them are in August and uh, for them the invoice was already posted in August and uh, there are two more in September. For this, um, for this um, product receipts we will create an invoice right now and we will expect that the date of the invoice uh, th uh, that the date of VAT register for that invoice will be defined as um, um, 29th of uh, September. For this purpose we will go now to October just to simulate the case 
when we are in the beginning of the next month. So we are in October and we go back to our purchase order. And um, we will post an invoice now for the purchase order, which has uh, two product receipts dated in September. We expect that the date of VT register should be 29th of September. It's predefined automatically value for this new field. Hope it will be working. Hmm. I'm not sure what is it. Should be fine. Oh, it was just small pause. Okay, as you can see, a new field date of VAT register has appeared on this form, and the value is defined as we expected as 29th of September. I will put the number of this invoice. Mm, invoice October, for example, mm, and I will put the invoice date in October as well. The 2nd of October or probably the 1st of October to have three different dates and um, uh, the quantity is defined by product received quantity and I think we shall post this invoice now. Um, okay, posting operation is in progress and uh, we expect that um, just one sales tax transaction will be <coughs> created because I have just one line in my um, purchase order. So we may observe the invoices by this purchase order. As we can see, the first line is related to the August when uh, we did not um, use uh, the feature uh, date of VAT register. And uh, <clears throat> now we are in August, we are using date of VAT register and the transaction was posted with this date. Uh, in respect to this invoice, posted sales tax will also have date of VAT register filled, filled in with the date in September. Uh, similar to this scenario, we will consider one more transaction in uh, accounts receivable model. For this purpose, we will stay in October and we will go to sales order. Here I have uh, one sales order and uh, there are several pack and sleep uh, already posted for this order. Uh, two pack and sleeps are posted in August and for these transactions um, I have posted the invoice in August and then I have posted three uh, pack and sleeps in September and the last date used is the 30th of uh, September. So we will expect that the new invoice uh, will be generated with uh, this date, 30th of September. I go to invoice tab on action pane and uh, generate an invoice. <clears throat> okay, so we can see that um, the date of AT register also appeared in this page and it is uh, predefined as we expected um, equal to the last the last date uh, date of the last packing sleep. Okay, we may put a document date here as for example also the 1st of October and uh, I think we can post this invoice now. 
So we expect that uh, the invoice will be generated. The posting date will be the 2nd of October. Uh, the document date will be the 1st of October and the date of AT register will be at the end of September. We will review the journal of invoices related to this sales order. The first invoice is in August and the second one is dated in October. And we can see the date of AT register for this invoice in September. And uh, posted sales tax for this invoice is also with the date of AT register in September. Okay, well, we <coughs> will not post more transactions in this period. Uh, do not waste time on this. And before we will go to the next uh, important part of the update, which is about specifically changes in the VAT management, I will show you how to fill in the date of VAT register for transactions which are already posted. So if you have already, um, for this purpose, I will go to tax. We have here periodic tasks and uh, VAT register transactions. So you have, uh, if you have already posted some, some transactions and for example, you uh, missed to fill in the date of VAT register, how you can proceed in this case. You may open this field and um, by default, uh, all the transactions uh, will appear here, which uh, has empty date of VAT register. As soon as for our transactions, we did not miss to fill in this field. We cannot see now these transactions, but we see the transactions in the previous period. Unfortunately, or probably luckily, the system will not allow us to update date of VAT register for these transactions because a system controls that these transactions are posted in the period which is already closed. And um, in my case, I do not want to see these transactions in the list because I have started to use the feature from the 1st of September. For this purpose, I will add here the transaction date filter and I will specify here the um, criteria as after um, August 31. 2019. So uh, these unnecessary transactions will be uh, filtered out from this page. Uh, and if, for example, I want to uh, change a value of uh, some of the transaction, then I will just um, exclude uh, this filter from the criteria. And in this case, my new transactions will appear here. Date of it you register was not uh, missed, but for example, for some reason, I just need to change this date for this transaction. In this case, I select this transaction and I click on date of AT register button on the action pane. Here I will specify a new date, for example, 27 of September. Mm -hmm. Uh, the transaction <coughs> date of AT register was updated respectively. Multi-selection is also working in uh, this um, page and you may even select uh, all the transactions and update them uh, together. Okay, this is all about this um, important feature as well. And uh, now, when date of AT register feature is uh, enabled in the feature management workspace and user in legal entity with primary address in Italy, um, it will be possible to see a new parameter here on general ledger parameters on sales tax tab. Uh, here we have tax options first tab and a new parameter uh, has appeared on this page. We will switch it to yes and the system just announced um, that uh, we must um, go to the consistency check 
and it is uh, strongly recommended. We have already completed this procedure, so we do not need to do anything additionally. We simply click OK because this um, message is just for the user information. So from this moment, our system will work in a new way, in a new regime, in the regime of data of AT register. And this means that uh, transactions during the sales tax settlement process and it, uh, Italian sales tax payment report will be considered by date of VAT register instead of date of transaction posting. And it is important to note here that system will not allow you to switch on this parameter on general ledger page if uh, there are tax transactions posted in open interval of sales tax settlement period with um, value date of VAT register field in some closed interval of sales tax settlement period. At the same time, if you have already switched on this parameter, you will not be able to switch it off um, if uh, there are tax transactions with value of date of VAT register field is in closed interval of sales tax settlement period, but posted in open interval of sales tax settlement period. And uh, one more point uh, about system restrictions. Uh, system will control and will not allow you to switch off the parameter in feature management workspace, that one which we uh, have uh, uh, observed in the very beginning. If uh, there is at least one legal entity where date of VAT register parameter on general ledger page, on general ledger parameters page uh, is switched on. All these restrictions are introduced just to control the consistency of sales tax transactions in between uh, their periods, just because uh, Italian localization does not allow to, um, to do say, any corrections in uh, the settlements, because we can do just one sales tax settlement. Okay, to the changes in the report. <clears throat> I will generate the sales Italian sales tax payment report now for September, just to see how it will look like after the new regime was uh, uh, activated. All the books are activated and summary part as well. And uh, hmm. Let's see the new local look of the report. From the very first sight, it may seem that it is the same, but I will quickly show the main changes in this report. As soon as it will appear on the screen, we have not too much time left and I um, hope it will be generated quickly. So, as you can see, just one transaction here in the list of September invoices for purchase sales tax book. And uh, that was that one with the date of VAT register in September. But if we go to the totals, we will see, ah, sorry, we have a new column here. It is here and the date is uh, shown respectively. Uh, here in the totals, we can see the totals are shown in three groups. The first group, group is uh, about transactions in this period. The second uh, is about transactions in this period, but with the tax point date in the previous period, we have uh, zeros here because we do not have any uh, invoices in this period with uh, I mean in September with the um, tax point date in uh, August, but we have posted some transactions in October with tax point date in uh, September and these amounts are um, reflected here in the report respectively. The same here in uh, the totals, in the grand totals by purchase. 
uh, you can see three lines instead the one in the past and one additional line about grand totals by purchases which is calculated as a result of all these three groups the same for sales part i will quickly go through this part to the summary because summary now will be shown in three pages instead of one as it was in the past first page is about transactions in this period second uh, is about the transactions with the uh, competence da date with the tax point date in uh, the previous period. And the third is uh, about transactions in the next period, but with the tax point in this period. And the same for sales part. The sales tax payment page is not changed. But as you can see, the amounts were calculated considering the date of VAT register respectively. OK, I do not see that we have time to do the settlement, but I think we may just initiate it quickly just to see how the. Um, how the. Sales tax payment amount will be calculated Wait. in September, 1st of September. OK, we can see that the amount was uh, calculated respectively. I just did it in the parallel first in a parallel tab of the browser just to be able to compare. Uh, so we will not wait till the end of this process just to save time for the next our <clears throat> parts of the demo. Um, thus, we have reviewed all the changes introduced to this version in respect to the law decree 119. Now we know how to activate the feature. We will not forget to run consistency check when the feature will be activated. We know how to define author filling rules for date of VAT register and how to fill in the date of VAT register when we need it. In the VAT settlement and reporting, we know what changes to expect. And uh, let's go further uh, and see the st status of uh, releasing functionality affected by this change. In this table, there are Italian features affected by the change in VAT management. And the main part that I have just shown today is already released for version 10.06 as I notice it above uh, which is going to be available i mean 1006 is going to be available for sandbox environment early next week um, and uh, for production environment since the 8th of october uh, there are also planned updates for the quarterly and yearly VAT communications and for the purchase and sales invoice communication no update is needed, just a setup of the feature and it will be needed to be adjusted very slightly and this uh, will be reflected in the feature documentation uh, which will explain how to how to do this adjustment of the setup. As for the documentation, here on this slide I have collected some links on new articles which are now either published or in the process of publishing and should get available on docs.microsoft.com very soon. As for the specifically featured documentation, just uh, make sure that you are so if you will search not by the links, but through the table of content on docs.microsoft.com, make sure that you will be searching for tax point date under Europe, as you remember under Europe VAT uh, group and uh, other pages uh, will be um, uh, under Italy. Uh, I might probably quickly open this page. To show. Yes. Um, 
it is here. So this page uh, has already appeared under Italy documentation and it is called VAT management and reporting by date of tax point. Um, OK, mm, as for the specifically featured documentation by the update, please use this KB article. All the information about this change is collected there in one document. The same information is uh, also available on these articles, but here it is divided into several articles. So for the first time, usage it probably will be more useful to use the um, this KB article. OK. Mm. Here is just a small announcement in regards to finance and depuration, which is also officially published already that uh, due to the fact that uh, blacklist report and old version of domestic tax report, I do not mean here that uh, a Sterometer report, which is stay obviously at place, but the old version of domestic tax report and blacklist report are not required anymore. And uh, due to this fact, these features are uh, planned to be deprecated in one year. So if uh, you want to learn more, you may follow this link and find more information about this deprecation. Hey, Lisa, yeah. I think we should respect people's time and we are on top of the hour. We should conclude our presentation. I guess we, we will have to think about additional time for this uh, part about AX2012 R3 um, specifically. So I suggest we will just uh, uh, jump to the end of our presentation and address a few questions from the from the Q&A. OK, thank you, Adam, for this reminder. I just quickly say that for Dynamics 3, 6, or AX2012 R3, uh, the changes are completely the same and the only difference is that there is no such a framework um, like key feature management and uh, in this version uh, users will need to activate a new configuration key and all the details so uh, can be easily found in the related KB article. And uh, to the release status of uh, AX2012 R3, um, Mm, in this table, you may see that the update uh, for this function for this version is uh, planned to be released um, in October of uh, this year, and this plan can be slightly potentially changed due to extremely large quantity of changes which uh, must be released and uh, and the impacted reports are also planned to be updated and released. And uh, the table on this slide uh, informs about um, times, how to say, schedule of release for the version 7.3. For version 7.3, the main part of the update will be delivered in the during uh, this calendar year and for the uh, reports we do not expect any specific updates to be released because this uh, reporting are uh, delivered via electronic reporting model and the same configuration changed for version 10 should be applicable for 7.3 version. Okay, actually this is all I intended to tell today. The change is huge in terms of how many objects in the system are affected but we tried to make it useful and to redesign the report change to be readable and legally compliant. So the legal requirements to the way of reporting of the invoices with the tax point date in the previous period was clarified specifically with KPMG. And uh, you will have some, if you will have some question afterwards, you may address them directly by the emails which I informed on the very, very first page of this deck because this is also important for us to get your early feedback to provide the best quality of our product and the documentation as well. And as usually, if you will face some issues, you may address them to our support team and I would like to have just this opportunity to say big thanks to 
our colleagues from the support team, Massimiliana and Valentina, who always provide us with all the important information uh, from Italy. Thank you very much, guys. Adam, I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Uh, Thank you, Lisa. That was that was that was a great time. Uh, since we don't have much time uh, during the presentation, of Lisa, uh, when Lisa presented. I was answering questions and published a lot of answers. However, there are still few questions pending answers, so I promise to answer in the deck, um, uh, which we will share in this uh, after this presentation. So, if you didn't uh, receive any answer from from my side uh, on your question, we will address that in the in the Q&A section of this deck after we'll publish that. Obviously, as Lisa mentioned, there's email addresses at the beginning of this presentation, so you can always contact us and um, ask additional questions. Regarding this uh, mis uh, additional changes in AX 2012 R3, we will think about organizing additional session to provide you with details why, why we are closer to the uh, releasing of the updates. I think this concludes our demo for today. So back to you, Janice, to, to close the session. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Adam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take a brief moment here and bring your attention to a link that I posted in the Q&A panel. That's a link to a short survey for this web conference. We ask that you please take a moment before logging out to access it. We hope that you found today's information helpful. And if you enjoyed today's web conference, have feedback on how we can provide you with a better event or you'd like to submit topics for future web conferences, this is your chance to let us know. We do appreciate the time you take to do this and thank you for your support. And that is going to conclude today's web conference. The recording and a copy of the presentation tech will be available within five business days. Please look for an email in the coming days that will include details on how to access them. I'd like to extend a big thank you to our presenters, Adam and Elizaveta. And thank you, audience, for logging in and joining us today.